All right, Coach. 30-point winners tonight at home over UIW. Uh, what were your thoughts of the game? Um, I, I thought our guys get, did a good job defensively. Um, I thought that we forced them into some situations that maybe they're not normally used to being in, and that was able to create us some easy opportunities um, on the offensive end. But with that being said, I was really impressed with the fact that we had 24 assists on 35 made baskets. And that just means that we're sharing the basketball and, and we're playing for one another instead of being, uh, you know, looking to get our own stats. We're looking to make sure that the Islanders do well every single night. And that's a, that's a step in the right direction for us. You know, uh, jumping on that a little bit, uh, there were times where you were able to put together some runs where your ball movement looked really good. You were finding, you know, uh, turning the ball, finding, finding an open guy. How did you feel about that aspect in your game tonight? Yeah, you know, that was probably one of the most pleasant things that, that we had going for us tonight because, you know, again, I think that we're going to be able to create some opportunities offensively through our defense. But when our defense uh, is not creating those easy baskets, well, now you've got to be able to go to the other end and, and play basketball and, you know, not necessarily call set plays. And tonight we didn't call a lot of set plays. We, play, we just ran, ran motion offense, and, you know, the guys took what was available to them. If they had the drive, they drove it. They jump stopped. They passed it. We drove it again. We passed it again. Those sorts of things. And, and those are things that we've uh, – We've really been working on and preaching here since uh, we got back from Christmas. Murdoch's had a big game on the road uh, when, you, when you guys started off with a conference win on Saturday. He carried it over a little bit scoring-wise, and he was also pretty good distributing the ball tonight. Uh, can you talk a little about how he performed tonight? He, Terion's a good player. I mean, I think Jasmine would tell you that uh, when Terion's on the floor, he makes the game easier for other people, and he continued to do that again tonight. Um, when the game gets to just be basketball instead of set plays, instead of jump defenses or whatever, and it's just basketball, Terion really knows how to play basketball. And, and he makes the game easy for his teammates, and, and he did a really nice job sharing the basketball tonight and controlling our team. You know, when you have him and Jalen together, um, you're essentially with two point guards on the floor at all times. So they just feed off one another. And uh, tonight, Terion was one that, that put more points on the board for us, obviously. Jasmine, uh, you know, how much momentum did you guys get from that road win to open up conference against a team that's obviously going to be competing for a conference title? You know, to be able to build off that tonight, you know, how much carried over from Saturday, you think? I think a lot carried over. Um, a lot of people were saying that that's the team to beat. And and we we beat them once. We just got to do it a few more times. And um, getting that big road win just kind of keeps all the energy high in the locker room, on the bus, everywhere we are. We're just happy, and we just got to keep pushing forward with that momentum. It seemed like UAW uh, kind of settled you guys down a little bit. Uh, you guys were in positions maybe to break it open before the half. Uh, they kind of climbed back into a little bit before the break. You know, what did you what did you really see in the second half that you guys were able to kind of take advantage of and, and really take command of this game? Well, I, I thought in the second half, um, you know, we started off a little bit slow again offensively, and fortunately, we were able to create create some things through our defense to get our offense going. Um, but you know, every game is different. The ebb and the flow of the game is different, and you've just got to adjust. But um, you know, when we got into motion and when we were able to drive and kick or drive and, and kick it and drive it again or throw the ball into the post, um, you know, we had good success. And, and we've just got to make sure that we stay um, true to, to that because that's what's going to be best for us moving forward. Jasmine, what do you think was the biggest key uh, in this win tonight? I think we played uh, selfless. Um, everyone just kind of put their egos aside and, and we played together as one. And I think that's we're at our best when we're playing together and not one person iso ball and stuff like that. I think um, we just got to do that continue, continuing forward and, and we're going to be good. Yeah, Team 7-0 at home. How important is it to you and the team just to play well in the home court? Uh, we got a lot of fans that come every game and we, we just want to make them proud and we want to um, make them proud by playing hard and doing the right things and ultimately winning the game and, and we're making them proud so we just got to continue doing that for sure. Unique situation this week. Obviously, you turn around and play the same team. You just walked off the floor against. It doesn't happen too often in college basketball, maybe save for late regular season, early conference tournament situation. So uh, how much do you, do you pay attention to what happened tonight? You know, do you tinker with stuff? Or, you know, uh, how different will Saturday be compared to tonight? 
Well, you know, I'm sure that they'll make some adjust- adjustments, yeah, as will we. But, uh, you know, I, I liken it to the NBA playoffs. You know, you, you know you're know, you going to play at home, then you're going to have to get on a plane and go on the road. We're going to get on a bus, obviously. But it's the same premise. And each of these guys aspire to be professional basketball players and play in the NBA. And, and hey, this is a great opportunity to show that you can do that and be very, very successful while doing so. So, um, you know, and I've said this several times. At this point in the season, there's not a whole lot you're going to change. Very few people are going to scrap their offense or scrap their defense. Um, but Carson Cunningham's a good coach. I would expect him to, to make some um, minor adjustments, as will we. I think we've we've obviously got to do a better job on number 10, uh, Cissé. Uh, he had 22 points on us tonight, and, and that's you know not something that we're ever uh, looking to do is have somebody score that much on us. Thank you, guys. Thank you.